Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. The neighbors and loved ones of a mom and two daughters who were murdered on their quiet Hertfordshire street have been left devastated by the heinous killings. Carol Hunt, 61, the wife of racing commentator John Hunt, was found dead at her home in Bushy, near Watford alongside the couple's daughters Hannah, 28, and Louise, 25 on Tuesday evening, July 10. Reports say the three women were held hostage for hours inside their home before they were killed with a crossbow. Suspect Kyle Clifford, 26, is in serious condition in hospital after police launched an urgent manhunt to find him. He was located Wednesday afternoon inside a cemetery in Enfield, North London with injuries, and is yet to speak to police. Hertfordshire police have said they have recovered a crossbow, adding they had no previous contact with the family or Clifford before. The BBC confirmed Mr. Hunt's family were killed in the attack and described their deaths as utterly devastating. Words just seem hollow and inadequate in such circumstances, and all we can try and do is provide some crumb of comfort by trying to exhibit the warmth and respect in which John and his family are held. We are all thinking of you, John A. Unspecified Currency IP IC. Twitter.com slash 5QSJ0 Rehick. A note sent to BBC5 Live staff read, The news today about John Hunt's family is utterly devastating. Our thoughts are with John and his family at this incredibly difficult time and we will provide him with all the support we can. Police were called on Tuesday evening after neighbors heard a shrill scream from a woman around 7 p.m. Tributes have poured in for the victims with Mrs. Hunt's childhood friend Leah Holloway said, we grew up together and were pregnant at the same time. This is the stuff nightmares are made of. Alex Klein, who was in a relationship with beautician Hannah Hunt, 28, posted a photo of them together on Instagram with the caption, RIP the love of my life, I will never forget you, stolen from me too soon. He added, the brightest light in my life. My brave queen for life. Until we meet again. I love you Hansi. Tuesday evening, 6.30 p.m., a neighbor, who did not wish to be named, claimed they heard a woman screaming which sounded shrill. 7 p.m., police and ambulance arrived on the scene after it is thought the husband and father of the victims, John Hunt, raised the alarm returning home from work. 7.30 p.m., the area is ordered into lockdown as police carry out their search for the suspect throughout the night. Wednesday, 10 a.m., Police name Kyle Clifford as the suspect as they issue for an appeal for information to help find him. 11.30 a.m., Home Secretary Yvette Cooper has asked to be kept fully updated on the killings. 12.30 p.m., Hertfordshire Police confirm the ages of the victims in a press conference and believe other weapons alongside a crossbow may have been used. 1 p.m., victims are named as Carol, 61, Hannah, 28, and Louise Hunt, 25, the wife and two daughters of BBC Five Live Racing commentator John Hunt. 3.30 p.m., armed police are pictured in Enfield as the manhunt continues. 6.25 p.m., police confirm they found Clifford in Enfield in the afternoon with injuries. They also said they believed he was known to the victims. To view this video, please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. ITV Racing commentator Richard Hoyles, a longtime colleague of Mr. Hunt's, paid tribute from this afternoon's meet at Newmarket. He said, it's impossible to rationalize such a pointless, terrible, and heinous act in modern-day society. I've known John for 30 years, we've started out together and during that time, he's become one of the most liked and respected members of the press room. And liked because of his easygoing personality, he is excellent company. If you spend even a moment in his company, the odds are the talk will turn to family. There's plenty of people in the press room, I have no idea of their family, but we all felt we knew Carol and the girls possibly far better than we actually did. There was a bit of folklore that after our annual shindig at Christmas 20 odd years ago, we'd all retired to the local pub and out would come pictures from John's wallet of the girls at primary school, who he'd share with random bar staff and anyone else who would care to listen. Minute silences were held at Newmarket Racecourse, 